everyone, welcome back. Uh, now I'd like to introduce to you onto the stage, Mr. Lu Xiang. He's a fellow of uh, Institute of American Studies, Chinese Academy of Social Science to, 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 to the stage to lead the session. Please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Liu, Lu Xiang. Sorry. First of all, uh, uh, please give me uh, just two minutes about, uh, about myself and uh, the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Uh, my name is Lu Xiang, uh, working for the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Uh, in English, it's, uh, it's often called, just called CAS, C-A-S-S. -S. It's the largest academic institution in China. Uh, specializing in humanities and uh, social sciences. We have 36 uh, institutes, uh, and uh, among these 36 institutes, uh, we have eight institutes specializing in international relations studies. Uh, so, my personal uh, major, my, uh, my research is focusing on the uh, 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 United States, uh, you know, in the past year because of the, uh, Mr. Donald, Donald Trump's il uh, winning in the presidential election, and uh, we have been very, very busy, uh, yeah, so everyone can understand why we are busy with that. Uh, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, for China, only the relation with the United States is important. Actually, our, our relation with New Zealand, uh, although it's uh, uh, in geography, yeah, in geographical term, is a small country, but our, the China-New Zealand relation is very, very important. We know that uh, our President Xi Jinping uh, was here in uh, 2014, and our Premier Li Keqiang has been here for three times. And the uh, last time he visited, uh, visited New Zealand uh, was uh, much of this year. And uh, here our Premier said that uh, the uh, New Zealand-China relation, uh, our two countries are good partners benefiting to each other. And we are good friends sailing on the same boat. So that's a very, very positive remark on the relation. And now everyone here knows that China is the largest export market of New Zealand. And meanwhile, China is also the largest origin market for New Zealand's import. So, and uh, more amazingly is that our trade, the trade between our two countries are generally balanced. That means uh, neither one has a deficit, a big deficit or surplus. So it's a balanced trade and it's good for our uh, two countries. And uh, what's more in amazing for me is that we have seen that New Zealand it's a very developed country, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, in leading positions in many, many uh, international rankings. For example, in terms of the ease of doing business, New Zealand is number two in the world. In terms of the human development, New Zealand is number nine, and in terms of economic freedom, it's number four, and in terms of environment is number seven. So it's so amazing figures. Uh, only I, in the past days, I did some homework uh, about uh, New Zealand. I found only in one term, New Zealand is in a very, very low rank. It's number 172 among 177 countries. So guys, What's it? So it's in terms of the of an index called Field States Index. So that means New Zealand is least possible to be a field state, a 失败国家. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so congratulations. And on the other side, I also see a fact about New Zealand uh, that. Uh, that is uh, 
use of the clean energy. I read that the geothermal and hydroelectric power generates 40% of New Zealand's energy supply. So especially about uh, the geothermal energy, actually I'm not familiar with this. I hope later uh, our friends uh, from New Zealand can tell us more about. So I don't want to occupy too much time of this panel. We have one and a half hour. Uh, and now I want, and I won't spend time in introducing each, uh, each of the participants of this panel. Uh, I would let them to do themselves.